crazy ass. Her real son. I fuck with the Jones. I ain't gonna act like I fuck with the Jones. But dirty house out of my <laughs> This nigga so funny. Um <clears throat> every sitcom got those real sex scenes. I feel like that feels like like the Urkel episode got shot. Bad episode with Fresh Prince. It starts off with this bizarre ass intro. What is this? I never realized how crazy this all is. Okay, he an alien now? Like, what is the thought process? I wonder. Who the fuck is this? Oh yeah, I forgot. He's like a bellhop or something. They had a token white man. They definitely took his ass out after like three episodes. Sad hood movie. This shit is giving me a headache, bro. I gotta stop looking at this. You get it, man. Theme song is fire though. Top tier theme song. So they all in the hotel chilling and it's business as usual. They talking about some hotel critic dude that's supposed to be visiting and he's gonna write about them in the newspaper. I cannot believe that our hotel is being considered for the hotel hotspots review in the paper. And Junior says a good review means more business for the hotel. Yeah. And you know what that means? A bonus for everybody. Oh. Yes, okay. Garrett Morris comes into the scene with a basket full of pigeon eggs. Dirty ass boy. That's pretty funny though. That's like his thing or whatever though, if you never seen the show. He real trifling or something. Now my pigeon farm on the roof has produced enough eggs to last us until uh, Easter. That's why I used to make that omelet you ate this month. That's funny that he like appeared to eat. That's how much I watched the show. I done watched it a few times. I probably can name it. <laughs> So the show is all about Jamie Foxx. He plays a nigga named Jamie King, cause they always do that for some reason. He's from the South and he moves to the West Coast with his uncle Junior and his aunt Helen. He got this fake Carlton and shit. It's a Fresh Prince ripoff, low key. His aunt and uncle own this hotel called the King's Tower and that's it. Also love interest girl. That's the show basically. eggs this morning because they were banging. <laughs> Jamie Foxx comes in with these big ass khakis on. He has some banter with his fake Carlton. Then Orlando Brown rolls into the scene. Jamie Foxx is a part of uh, some big brother program. Um, I guess where you take a kid and you uh, be his friend mentor i don't know man i ain't never seen this shit outside of 90 sitcoms i don't even know if it's a real thing Listen, bro, what's happening, man? this dude named bruce at my school been taking my lunch money oh uh, next time you see old bruce you look him straight in the eye and when he asks you for your money you say no my brother now ease up say that no, no my brother now ease, ease up, up. <laughs> see? so handle it all right man all right handle it no my brother now ease up Nigga, that's not intimidating. Calling a nigga my brother with a A? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Also, this is pretty much a ripoff of that one Fresh Prince scene, 100%. They did it better on there, needless to say. Like, back up! Back up! Mind your business, that's all. Mind So what show was the better one? I never seen too much of Jamie. Jamie Foxx gives Orlando Brown that weak ass advice and he goes on his way. Nigga, why'd you come all the way up here just to talk for 20 seconds? Is this close to your house or something? How'd you get here? I know what it's like to be picked on. Right, right. They would take everything from me, like my cardigan sweaters, my, my violins. <laughs> Don't let me have to thrash you about the head, neck, and. <laughs> no! Oh, oh. The next day, Orlando Brown comes back and he got beat up again for listening to that trash ass advice. No, my brother, hey. now ease up. What else was he supposed to do after that, Jamie Foxx? Hey, so did you do what I said? Did you look him in the eye? Just like you said, Jay. 
and he hit me in it! What you need right now is some self-defense class. I can teach you that because, see, this has happened to me before. If you're ready for the self-defense, you shall meet me in the Shaolin Temple. Jamie Foxx and Braxton decide to train him so he can fight the bullies. They do a fake ass Dragonfly Jones bit where the quote unquote master gets beat up by the students. I call this my over the hand, right hand chin check. Fucking play. Jay, thanks. Bruce ain't gonna be messing with me no more. That's right, that's right. You do it for the home team, okay? <laughs> Orlando Brown gets beat up again. Jamie Foxx, you're a terrible mentor in this, bro. He should really find somebody else to talk to. He says he'll be ready for the bully next time, though, because he brought his very special secret weapon. That's all right, because I got two friends that'll handle Bruce. Smith and Wesson. Oh, my God, he's got a heater. <laughs> Look, if you want to go out and handle your business in a stupid way, then fine. Then you got to go through me. And me. Jamie Foxx takes the gun from Orlando Brown and he sends him home. He don't inform his parents at all about what's going on. Terrible, terrible mental. I mean, okay, what was he supposed to do? A lot of times that's why people do do it. Try to kill him. And there's like a dude, ain't nobody coming to fight him for me and then I'm through this. Crazy to think about. Now he took the gun from him. Now he ain't gonna do nothing to get beat up again. <laughs> so sure. Is this nigga an orphan or something? They never mention his parents in none of the episodes he's in. Who's responsible for this kid? I'm like, he's over, but you are I'm told UPA ended today. What ship station? That's their slogan or something. Thanks for listening. For sponsoring the video. Let's get back into it. Usually he make a joke. That's why I went. Orlando Brown comes back and says the bully beat him up again and took his gold chain that he got from his grandmother. Bruh, this nigga get beat up every single day. Is that a thing? How your school bully got a perfect attendance, man? Ain't no breaks. Also, why are you wearing a damn chain to school? Your bully don't miss, clearly. I'm surprised he ain't take that shit already. Bruce hit me again and took my gold chain that my grandmother gave me. I'm gonna go with you this time. And I'm gonna get your chain back. Put some of this on your eye. I gotta keep the meat, man. I'm hungry. Go. That hotel critic dude comes in to review the place. I forgot about this half ass B plot going on. Ain't this that one Poindexter yo that's in all the sitcoms? He was in Martin in that DMV episode. You wanna be Martin so bad. They got Stan in here and everything. This shit is literally like Martin and the Fresh Prince did the fusion dance. He even kind of looked like both of them niggas a little bit, right? That's probably on purpose, bro. Listen, I need the key to Jamie's room so I can get my science book from out of here. I left it up there a little earlier. Oh, sure, no problem, no sir. Jamie Foxx wraps up the B-plot finally. There's not even any conflict in the shit. He just shows the guy around and they get a good review, basically. Also, Uncle Junior is in here abusing more animals. See how you like these new pillars for our oh, guests. Junior, oh. these are nice. Ah, she says nothing softer than a pigeon feather pillow, Helen. Oh, <laughs> Nigga, how many pigeons did that take? Did you have to catch them all and pluck their feathers? That's a lot of work, bro. I feel like it's easier ways to be cheap. You're a dummy, bitch. Anyway, Jamie Foxx goes up to his room and he realizes that the gun is missing. He rushes over to the school to stop Orlando Brown and ends up running into the bully. And look, it's Arnez from One on One. And he was in Cousin Skeeter. I never saw that, though. So Jamie Foxx... They get beat up by Arnez. He get beat up by Coach Carter, son. It's from one on one. And he was in Cousin Skeeter. I never saw that, though. So Jamie Foxx is face to face with the bully now. He wearing this stupid ass, too fast, too furious outfit. This nigga like 19. Why is he bullying these little ass kids? I guess that's the only kids he can bully. I don't see him bullying nobody in his own grade, to be honest. You must be Bruce. How you know my name? You don't know me. Okay, look, uh, Dennis the Menace to Society. 
Hey, y'all need, hey, I'm gonna tell you right now. Oh, oh, he gonna come from the back like that. <laughs> Braxton? I'm talking about Braxton. I'm OG Bully Loke Dog. Braxton shows up now doing like a Metal Gear Solid anime type of character, fake ass M. Bison. He is swole as shit though. He definitely beat the shit out of these kids. What grade is this, man? This is like an elementary school. Why is this damn kid so big? Look at these kids back here, bro. How do y'all go to the same school? You gotta focus on the books, man. You can't be bullying people. You 18 in the fifth grade. I don't think so. Gonna be scared because you brought your grandmother. What? Boy, I'm no, 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 no. You was right. Gun ain't no way to solve your problems. Guns are for punks. Nelson brought the gun to me and told me to take it to the police station and turn it in. What? You're gonna shoot me? Yeah. Fancy pulls up now to the school to join the fights. Bro, where's all the staff? It's hella strangers running through here. This gate open and shit. No wonder he getting fucking beat up every day. Y'all not even paying attention. Why is this entrance even wide open like this? The damn beat up hella strangers running through here. This gate open and shit. No wonder he getting fucking beat up every day. Y'all not even paying attention. Why is this entrance even wide open like this? The damn kid's gonna run away, bro. Who's supervising them? Orlando Brown decides not to shoot the kid, Bruce. This nigga name is Bruce. Oh fuck no. This soft ass bully, man. I can't believe it. Hey, whose gun was this anyway? You just turned that bitch over to the police? Somebody paid good money for that. You should have put it back where you found it or something. He ends up taking down Bruce without the gun. He turns all his henchmen against him like Victor Sweet and four brothers. It's really cool. He don't need violence at all. It's not the answer. If it had been me, I'd have shot his big ass. He punched you for your watch your mama gave you. Ben, took your Air Jordans last week. You ain't gonna turn my boys against me. And tomorrow, when you by yourself, it's gonna be on. So what's it gonna be, Bruce? Or do you wanna squash all this? Become friends. Wow, that was sure exhausting, you know, keeping the concentration for that. It's uh, helped out quite a bit. I told you about that bully experience, you know? That's something I didn't like. Shut you know? Up. You know? <laughs> So in the end, if you're getting bullied, all you gotta do is just call up Jamie Foxx to your school and also this buff light-skinned nigga, and then you turn all the bully's friends against him. Was this written by a child, bro? I feel like this kind of made me not even want to do it this way. Usually I have this pro show. Just every episode is like... Like, y'all couldn't come up with a more believable ending? When the fuck has that ever happened? A lot of media will do this with the PSA type of things. With it's written by a child, bro. Like, y'all couldn't come up with a more believable ending? When the fuck has that ever happened? A lot of media will do this with the PSA type of things, where they say guns aren't the solution to your problems. Then they be giving out bullshit ass non-solutions like this. Like, just turn all the henchmen against them. You're not helping anybody with this, I guarantee you. I do agree though, guns aren't the answer. You can't shoot your way out of most problems, actually. It's not a good solution. I don't know what is, bro. Transfer schools or something. Overall though, this show definitely has some heavy Martin influence, heavy Fresh Prince influence, but it's still a great show in its own right. I would put it on the same level as those, honestly. Maybe a notch or two below. I don't know. I gotta rewatch some more. Shout out to the cast of this show. Shout out to Jamie Foxx. He an all-star. Hope everything works out for him. We love you, Jamie Foxx. Um, yeah, right on the podcast. Do a cinema.